agents which didn't really exist at that time and you had stories of clapping this was in particular about signing Roy McFarland who Liverpool wanted at the time yes. and he and Peter Taylor just rock up at his house at 11.30 at night I mean the yes. state of confusion McFarland was in bed and he's just like well we're here to sign you yes I mean I think it might have even been later than that but it doesn't matter it's late and, and uh, McFarland's played it was a Friday and he's gone up to bed. And he's in his pajamas. The front doorbell goes. His parents answer it in their dressing gowns. And there's Clough and Taylor. They'd done the deal with Tranmere. Now they had to persuade the player to sign. So Roy McFarlane comes down. There's two gentlemen to see you. And they start talking to him. And he's not sure. And he turns to his father. And his father says, um, listen, if they want you that badly, sign it. So he's about to sign it, and then he thinks, now I'm going to Liverpool tomorrow. I know that Shankly wants me. I'm going to watch the match with my mate. Um, I'll try and stall it. And Taylor slides the contract under uh, his nose, McFarlane's nose, and says, listen to your dad. You've got to sign now. We can't wait till tomorrow. So he signs. And then he goes to Liverpool the next day, and they win 5-0. And he thinks, what have I done? <laughs> you know, what have I done? Anyway, he said what he did changed his life and his career because they they started winning big time um, and he played for England. So it was a great move for McFarlane, who I'm still in touch with. He's an ambassador at Derby County. Um, and then he he wanted to sign Archie Gemmell from Preston, so he slept on the Gemmell family sofa all night until Gemmell signed the next morning. I mean, amazing. Cuff could not have coped with, with agents.